Okay, folks, I'm going to show you how to test one of these interlock modules on a Toro snowblower made in the, I'd say, early 80s, probably 81, up um, well into late 80s, maybe even early 90s. Um, these are known to go bad. Things you should never do on this is hook a voltmeter up to this. Um, the way it works is it takes current generated by a primary on the kill wire and puts a puts a current through up through the handlebar switches and all the interlocks so there's an interlock in this case for um, neutral and there's another one up here for the auger and this is going to vary based on model so when this gets disengaged it'll create an open circuit um, if the handlebar isn't um, depressed so if this is depressed and overrides the interlocks and you'll have continuity between these two pins, current can flow and it's basic, essentially a relay, but it's, um, I assume, solid state. But um, so the way to test this, if you can't hook a voltmeter up to it, is you test for spark. Um, if I don't have a shunt in here, I should have no spark when we crank this over. So I've got a spark tester hooked up. I've got the carburetor pulled off. I'm rebuilding that. Um, so I figured this would be a good time to show you guys um, exactly how to test this. So right now, open circuit. Shouldn't have any spark. No spark. Okay, and then I'm going to shunt these two connectors with an alligator clip. Just like that. Okay, now we should have spark. And we do. Okay, the second thing you want to check is continuity in the interlock circuit itself. Um, so here, this is actually from an old handlebar switch. You could just take these alligator clips and clip them to the connectors inside too, but I just want to make sure I had separation so they weren't um, artificially uh, shorting. Um, so this is just hooked up to my voltmeter and checking for continuity ohms. There we go. Um, so basically, for this thing again to work, that why that their current we talked about coming off of the primary needs to be able to flow all the way through this circuit. So it comes up, goes through a handlebar switch, two handlebar switches, um, and um, in this case for this blower, actually I think anything past 1981 would work like this. These are um, these would actually. Uh, work off the neutral position and the disengaged position. So you can hear that, that wasn't going off because I had the auger engaged and this wasn't, this wasn't depressed. So you can see my, it's working. So without the handlebar switch depressed, bam, it's gonna shut the engine off. And once I depress this, all right, the same, test your, um, test your, uh, Neutral your gear switch, so again, not depressed. Come over here, lift this off. That will shut the engine down, right? Until we press the handlebar switch. Okay, I hope that helps you guys um, at least debug and understand how this system works. It's fairly complicated. Um, actually, it's quite simple, but there's um, a lot of mystery as what's going on in that box. So that little can. Um, but that's to test how it works or not. So again, one reminder, do not hook a voltmeter up to these. Um, just a, the small voltage that are put out. I mean, a fluke might be okay, but um, I, I don't want to test it. These things are NLA, and if you do find one, it's in, at least going to be $50. Um, I found some new old stock stuff in the $50 range a few years back. I should have bought a couple, but... Um, you know, I didn't really quite get the value of these things. But anyway, I hope that helps, guys.